Hey guys and welcome back. Now I have had so many requests to do a home tour for privacy reasons and I did the same when we lived in our rental property. I'm not going to do that but I thought instead as a bit of a compromise I would do a home decor update. So I'm going to take you around the house and I'm going to show you some of the things that we have purchased to make it feel a bit more like home. We are by no means done. We're still planning other renovations and we're also planning other furniture purchases. However, as you guys know, I'm sure from your own experiences, it takes a really long time to save up to do those things and be able to afford them and also find the right items so what I'm going to do is start with the biggest piece of furniture that we purchased since we've moved here which is our new couch not the one that I'm sitting on this is just one of those IKEA ones but the cushions are new these are just the great linen cushions from IKEA so let's start with that and then I'll take you around the rest of the house So the first thing that we were really looking for was a new couch. We had an Ikea couch that had gotten very old that Nigel used to sleep on and we really wanted to upgrade it. Luke was on the lookout for a L-shaped couch, however personally I find that they aren't the best when it comes to entertaining because you always have that kind of void. So what we did was we went for a couch that had a matching ottoman which was a lot more difficult to track down than you would suspect, especially because we were very specific about what we wanted to find. So we settled on the colour navy because we've kind of got more of a masculine dark theme going through our house that mixed with Scandinavian style. So this was what we thought would work best in our space. Um, and Finding a navy couch that fit that kind of model that we were after was very hard. So we ended up buying this from Castle Re, which is one of those online stores. They do have a showroom, but everything on there is quite affordable. We went to the showroom first before we decided on the color and before we decided that we were settled on the style just to make sure it was comfortable. It is. I will link the exact one we bought in the description box below, but this has an ottoman that moves out. So it's essentially a three-seater couch with a matching ottoman. It is absolutely perfect. Luke can kind of move this if he wants to sit a bit closer in because our TV is just behind you. Uh, but it's it's really, really nice. This was only around $1,500 or $1,600. I think we got it on sale as well, so we waited until they had a bit of a discount. But it's been a really great couch, very comfortable. The fact that it is dark means that it does conceal if we spill anything and we clean it up. But um, I found it's worn really well. There are a little a few little pulls in the fabric and it does pick up Winston's first. I just use our Dyson with the smaller fabric attachment on it and it works a treat to kind of clean it up. Something we actually had a really hard time finding were good bedside tables and I looked everywhere. They were either incredibly expensive or they were wooden and Luke was concerned that if we got wooden bedside table they might not match the wooden floors that we've got which are kind of a honey colour and also the headboard that we have which is quite warm toned so that was kind of something we had to keep in mind. In the end we actually just ended up going to Ikea. These were very affordable. I think they were around $100 maybe less so personally I think they were really great because they're effective. They were everything that we wanted. They were black which goes with a lot of the other trimmings that we have in our house. And I like the fact that they've got a simple drawer, which I'm not actually going to show you inside because it's very messy. And then there is also a shelf here as well. So really practical from that perspective. And on the top, I also have another newer piece, which is this artwork here from Jasmine Dowling. She is an incredible Brisbane-based artist, so or illustrator, hand letterer, all of the above. I'm going to link her... Instagram down below because if you aren't following her you should. She has incredible inspiration on there. Um, then I also have a little dish here which I purchased which is from Adairs and that is just where I keep my everyday go-to jewellery. Then the other thing in the bedroom that we've actually purchased since we've moved in here is the bed linen. So we went to Adairs for this and it's just a really beautiful washed linen. It feels so soft and the more that we've thrown it in the washing machine the softer it has gotten. It is a little bit more on the pricey end of the spectrum so I think we waited until it went on sale and took advantage of the discount. Full price it's definitely more on the expensive end of the spectrum at least in my opinion for bedding but really happy with it. We also bought our duvet as well or duna if you're from Australia and our pillows are from Adairs as well. I'll link all of that down in the description box. This particular linen set does come in some really amazing colors, really incredible colors like terracotta. I think there's also a rich green and mustard. So there's a lot of fun, especially if you don't wanna go for something that is super minimal. I went for a color that I knew both Luke and myself would like. And yeah, we've really been enjoying it. It's a nice color and it goes really well with our headboard as well. 
Now the next room that we are in is our smallest bedroom and this has kind of become a bit of an overflow dressing room storage area because at the moment we really haven't done much with it. We ripped out the cupboards that were in here and we just need to replace them. We just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. They were falling apart uh, but we have tried to make it look um, I guess as tidy as possible. There are a couple of few new pieces in here. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is this jewellery box which is from West Elm. So I got this because I didn't really have a proper storage solution for all of my jewellery and this looks really really large. It fits everything and I've still got a bit of room. I am going to be doing a full jewellery collection video so please make sure that you are subscribed if you want to see that. I personally really love this. I went for the white lacquered finish and then it does have the metallic silver handles and just kind of pulls out like that. Then the other kind of large piece of furniture that you'll see in here is this Baroque mirror. Now this actually used to belong to my mum and it was one of my favourite pieces of furniture that they had in the living room at home and when the house or you know the family home was sold a couple of years ago it was one of the things that I knew I really wanted to be able to bring into our house because I knew how much mum loved this type of mirror so I <laughs> um, got it shipped over from New Zealand and I absolutely love it. We've actually double-sided taped it down to this um, console which is just from Ikea so that it wouldn't fall and it's held up really well I just I don't know I really love the vintage sort of vibe to it, it feels very French inspired but yeah it's one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the house then probably one of the things I get asked about the most because it features in so many of my videos is this clothing rack. So this is something again that we purchased since we've bought our own home and it's just the turbo rack I think it's called from Ikea. It's really handy, I love the fact that it's black, it falls down really easily and it's relatively lightweight, it's on wheels so not really too much to say about this but it is a good one if you're looking for more of an open storage solution and you want something that is affordable but also easy to move around. So final room that I wanted to go into is the study and this is the room that I spend the most time in. It's where I work from, it's where I film a lot of the videos that you guys see and probably the thing I get asked a lot about aside from something on the other side of the room is my bookshelf. This is actually the Billy bookshelf from Ikea. We got it in the, I think it's called Oak. It's Obviously it's made out of MDF but it looks like it's wooden which I really like. It's quite effective actually and it kind of goes again with that Scandinavian theme that we've got going on in the house. This is where I store most of my shoes that I'm wearing on a regular basis and also a lot of my handbags that I reach for and switch in and out. It's become really handy. I like the fact that you can basically adjust all of the shelves to whatever you like. You can kind of, maybe you can see I'll at least insert some kind of close-ups but there are little notches in the side so you can essentially adjust it as you wish which I think is very handy. Now over here on the opposite side of the room is where I keep this mirror. Again, this is also from Ikea and I got it because I like that it had the same wooden texture that matches the book, Billy bookshelf and also some of the other little stools that we've got which are really handy. Actually, I'm going to link those down below as well. We've had them for ages but they are honestly one of the most useful things that we've ever purchased from Ikea. But I really like this. It does have a little hanging section at the back which is currently housing one of my Turkish towels for some reason. It's usually here that I film my what I wear in a week videos and also where I occasionally would come to check out my outfit as well if I'm not really 100% sure on what I'm wearing. Something else you probably see in a lot of my videos is this jute rug which I purchased from Freedom Furniture and sorry that you can see the tripod but this has been really lovely at adding some more natural textures into the room. Then the final piece of furniture that we have added to our house since moving in is this fold out couch. This is from Lounge Lovers I think and when we were moving in I did actually vlog us putting this together which I will say it is quite difficult but cumbersome to put together. However it makes a really good fold out couch bed. Um, my brother slept on this over Christmas. It does allow us to have room for another guest to stay as well as having an air mattress and the smaller spare bedroom. So. Yeah, this has been really great. It is quite firm, so I will say from sitting on it, trying to lounge on it in the living room, because we did have this as sort of a placeholder couch for a while, was not the most comfortable. I did find it was fine when you unfolded it and kind of lay on it like a bed, which we did a couple of times, but yeah, it's been a really great addition. I like the fact that, again, it does go with everything else in our house, and it's quite minimal. I mean, finding a good sofa bed that looks chic is 
quite hard, it's really really tricky, so quite glad that we came across this one. So that is everything that we've kind of added to our home since moving in. As you guys know, as I said before, it is a very slow process, there are so many things that I would love to purchase, but you know, we've got other priorities in terms of things that we want to do around the house. So it's kind of been put on the back burner for now. I will link a blog post that I did ages ago, which kind of outlined a few of the things that I was looking at. That has not changed. I think the only thing is maybe we're looking at getting a different TV cabinet than the one I shared in there. If there was one. It was a long time ago. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow with a new video. See you then. Bye.